shooter here that is really based on fast movement and jumping in, I guess, alien parkour, as I've been told. Um, and this is Natural Selection 2 uh, that will be shown to us by the Destroyer. All right, so what we're going to do first, we got everything up on 4K, all settings high. We are going to go through the training a little bit, kind of see what's going on with these settings. If we have to you know, switch back and forth between settings. And then we'll look at a kind of a real-time in-game sort of uh, experience, especially seeing if we have any uh, delay in the, in the controls. So let's go ahead, train. Play tutorial. Uh, whilst it's loading up, uh, when we first booted up the game, it was at a smaller resolution. I can't remember exactly what it was. But we put it up, set it up to the 4K, had to restart the game. Game came back up, and there was a. Uh, the mouse mapping was wrong. We'd have the cursor here, but it was actually registering up a little higher. We saw that with Battlefield 4 as well. So we were talking about wondering if it was a. Uh, just because it's a, a non-standard uh, resolution, if that was an effect. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But just to uh, clarify how we fixed it, simply exiting the game and restarting the game fixed it by itself. We didn't have to fix the mouse offset with anything else. Now, whether that works... On all games, on yeah. Games. yeah. Or it's required, because yeah. during Showdown, that was not an issue. Right. Yeah, you were switching back and forth, no problem. Yeah. All right. Or and initially. It, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, anyone who's played uh, NS2 before knows that both aliens and marines have an, a floating uh, sprite icon. And if you squint really, really closely, they're super, super small on the screen. So it's not scaling these uh, these icons right yeah. now. Yeah, and, and you can see that with the text, too. I mean, you've really got to yeah. look closely to read any text. So, and, so yeah. in this instance, we'll say that the sprite is a fixed size. And it's not a percentage of either your horizontal. Yeah, yeah. Or and I'm not talking about this text. I'm talking about like the really tiny messages. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you're reading text, I don't know if I can do text. And, and the sprite, the sprites in this game are very important because the commander gives you orders where to move. It's a real time oh, strategy yeah. versus no. a first person shooter. So you're not just a first person twitch shooter. It's a commander saying move to this location or build this building, and you need that object on your HUD to know what he's talking about. If it's really really small, it's going to be kind of. So it should give us one. Hold on. Yeah, there it so is. So if you look very, very carefully, there's a little thing move, and so you have two icons: a build icon and the, the waypoint icon. That's a build icon. Yeah, yeah. little little hammer right here. So oh, yeah, it's in so real fun. real time already, you know, in, in a real setting, it's going to be so hard to see something like that unless you got constant verbal communication. You're not going to know what to do. Now I look up here in the upper left, oh, the mini map, cool. which is never that I've never seen it that small. Is ridiculously small. So going back to what you're saying, it's not. It's a. It's a fixed si uh, size sprite. And it's not percentage scaling. But this looks to me like what I would expect to see. Is that yeah. normally bigger? That's, that, that's, that's, that's not upper. the same size. Yeah. So on the upper left hand corner where the map is, this should the, take up the whole. Yeah, it should be zoomed in on an itty bitty spot. So now. No, no. What I'm saying, the area that it's in is sort right. Of, the bounding box is right, but the map on the inside. Correct. Is there anything to zoom that map in and out? Uh, I found, I don't think so. We can check settings real quick. But uh, I'm pretty sure there's not a, a key binding that changes that. Uh, Commander, uh, mini map zoom. Oh, the we. Oh, you can't adjust. Oh, hold on. So we're gonna adjust it. Oh, so you're at max now. Yeah. We'll see how that goes now. But it still looks tiny. It's still tiny. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was doing it in real time. You were looking at the keyboard, but it was doing it on screen in real time. Oh. Okay. Real yeah. Time. But if that's max, then it's still very small. See? So their zoom slider isn't high enough. Right. And it may, may be able to do a console command. I don't know what the console command is. But e either way, I mean, that's... It's not something that would be feasible or work out of the box. Especially a game like this where... Map is... Oh, this is going to be interesting. So the buy menu is supposed to be this big. And so, I guess it's so it's sprite as well. It is shrunk to about, what, an inch by an inch? <laughs> uh, oh, that's a menu in the middle? Yeah, it's supposed to be a, yeah. a buy menu. Oh, yeah, wow. Menu. That's crazy. Right, so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's well, a that, buy that, menu alone. That's going to be, yeah, that's, a, that's a, almost a game. I mean, you can click on it. But. Well, that is, I mean, let, let's face it. Let's, without going into and covering the same things that we covered with Battlefield 4, mm -hmm. let's concentrate on UE aspects for this game because that's already, I mean, we know that it's going to perform worse in 4K as far as yeah. frame rate and stuff like that. We don't need to re keep recovering the same ground. 
But let's look at Yui. Is, that, is this a deal breaker for 4K in this game? I mean, being, seeing this as a tournament game and purchasing stuff, yeah, I mean, super, super precision movement just to go between different items, whether I want to buy grenades or different weapons. I can't remember if it's keybound or anything like that. I'd be curious to see. I wonder if it'll let me jump in. I oh, won't well, let me jump in. We have to go through this. What the uh, commander you was going to look like. Oh, that might be a really big deal. Oh. Yeah. Tearing, tearing, tearing. Die. Oh, this is going to be fun. Good shooting. Go back to the armor to refill. That's right, good shooting. <laughs> but it's interesting that some, I guess it's a model, it's a model right? right, so it's, it's a 3D object. Alright, so now this is where we go back. We gotta buy, so if it was a tournament game setting, which this is, that would be ridiculously hard to kind of click real fast. Build, so it's just going to have you build a bunch. Cloaking. And, uh, and he, if you, you can't hear it, but the guy is giving us orders saying the enemies are shown as red dots on the top left on your mini map. You, you can't see. What, what the mini map? Yeah. Is. yeah, I mean that that's that's basically. Oh, yeah, I know what the map looks like, so I can kind of guess, but oh, it's gonna have me kill it. That lurk's gonna kill you. <laughs> oh, done in by the. No, fade. that's a fade. fade yeah. yeah, fade not lurk. All right, so there's that. I'm just assuming one. That, yeah, it's gonna be over here. So already you're actually behind the ball. Yeah. And and you can't tell it, but just a second ago, if with the observatory up, any aliens are shown with this circle around them, so that because that radar just basically picks up aliens. Right. And if they're behind a wall, it puts a circle around them. Well, with the HUD elements super small, it almost defeats the purpose of that game object's point. That the reason that you build. That object in game is so that you can see aliens through walls. Well, if the HUD object's so small, yeah. you can't see them through the walls, then there's no reason to use the observatory. Right. More or less. I mean. Well, it kills cloaking a bit, but. And it does the yeah. beacon, doesn't it? Beacon as well. Beacon as well. But I mean, one of the uses of that object is. It's telling them. things, yeah, with where uh, creatures are within the radius of that observatory. And so, I mean, it, sadly, 4K is a, a game killer here. Okay, well, I mean, that's all we really need to look at it. it there are going to be games that that 4K, it's just not 4K compliant. It's purely for UE problems. I, I'm curious to see what the command is. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we'll pull up a map real quick and see. And that was one of the things I was, as I've talked with people about, like, what the WSGF does and the new technology and what will we do going forward is, well, you know, 4K is a 16 by 9, so we know the aspect ratios will be supported. What are the HUD elements? Are they specific bound by pixel sizes? Are they percentages? Because that's like what we've seen in the multi-monitor, that your mini-map is a percent of your width. Right. So when you go triple wide, your mini-map becomes huge in this stretched oval. Right. And so, I mean, that even happens on the little logo thing for AMD Crossfire technology. It's this cute little thing on a single screen, but you go multi-monitor and it takes up yeah, like yeah, four monitor. inches. Yeah. It's um. And uh, what's the uh, key binding for the mini map to bring it up in the middle? Like, oh, see, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Yeah, so. yeah, that might be another element that might be. Too but it, yeah, but it is going to be a it's a case by case basis. I mean, yeah, uh, that's right, and, yeah. and that's why we look to integrate this stuff into the detailed reports. I mean, when we yeah, saw... See, again, it's too small. Oh, yeah, so that's the, the mini-map right there. Wow. See, we even saw with Torchlight, which has a scalable UE, you could actually just make it exactly how you wanted it, and it was perfect. Right. Whereas right. with Guild Wars 2, you had to just deal with what they had. But even then, it was nowhere near as bad as this game. This is like a massive oh, deal-breaker. Oh, yeah, yeah see, a, this is... It's a game-breaker. So this is where you, uh, your StarCraft mode, 
And so you have your mini map over here, which you can't. Wow, can't what is this like? It's copy about as inch. big. It's about as big as a post, a U.S. postage stamp. And that's that's used for uh, quick moving around the map. If the entire map is as big as or well, as big as two cursors. Yeah, two cursors. Yeah. yeah. And being able, I mean, yeah, there's all these uh, key bindings. But even if I have to come over here and click something, it's going to be ridiculous. But hard. interestingly enough, the bottom right seems scaled, doesn't it? That, yeah, that that's, seems scaled. That, that doesn't. doesn't. And it, it, you look here; it's it's offset too. Yeah. So, so it's, some elements just aren't yeah. coded to support this kind of stuff. Some are yeah. Some are percentage scaled, and some are probably a fixed, fixed size. And it may be that that thing had certain icons. You know that that may be a texture in those little icon boxes. All right. Well, it's been a it's, it's been a good game to use as, a, as an example to highlight. I mean, we've seen different problems through three different games, right? That 4K affects it in different ways. But for any emerging technology, yeah, that's we're going to have that. We're yeah, going to have, have that issue. We had it in multi monitor. Back to the triple to go. We, we see still it, have it multi monitor. We still have it multi monitor. Some degree, we've seen it in twenty one by nine. Yeah. Um, about the only place it's settled out is 16 by 9 single widescreen and that's largely because the Xbox 360 and PS3 standardized multi-platform games on the 16 by 9 but then you still have the issue of the field of vision of sitting on your couch 10 feet away versus sitting at your desk yeah. 18 inches away. I still still think that the 21 by 9 is the cheapest and most likely of your greater than normal monitors to work. You know, like most games will, if they support 16 by nine, they will support 21 by right. nine. And when we've seen one or two games like Saints Row, where the HUD doesn't optimize, but... Um, well, and like Zinside said a long time ago that for him, the ultimate monitor was gonna be a 21 by nine with 4K pixel density. So basically a 5K monitor. Right. And I mean, at some point you'll have enough horsepower to do that. And you, and you might now with an SLI rig, but nobody's even putting those out. Oh, uh, yeah. you can't even see your so upgrade. The upgrade is the upgrade, the buy menu for aliens. And then there's, a, it's called biomass showing what upgrades you can get. Um, lower bottom is is health. These are sprites. And they're just you can't even killed tell out your health. I can't, I can't. They're the size of, the, of an eraser on a number two pencil. Yeah. Speaking of which, do you play this on twenty one by nine? I I, I switch between um, multi monitor and single monitor for tournament versus just pub. Uh, for how frustrated I am with it in Affinity mode, <laughs> yeah, I'm not the, complaining all at all. Elements, <laughs> the HUD elements, and I haven't good. made several posts about it. <laughs> um, it's an indie game. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll switch between. So usually it's just, okay, I'll just do single because I don't feel like dealing with... Because when it's in multi-monitor, uh, all the information scoots to the side. Right. Uh, it's right. on the edges. It's not yeah. centered on and the... So I, it's, if it makes you feel any better, I made two posts as well on their forums asking about multi-monitor support. Or, or at least just let us... You know, there used to be a wait, Lua scripting. Was that you? What? That did, did you figure it out? No, no, no. Oh, we're having, having like a bonding moment. We're, 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 no, I used to use it, okay. and then they it disappeared. Yeah. Disappeared because they the, the um, configuration they locked out because they wanted to protect against cheaters. They didn't want people to be able to script elements of certain things. This this entire game is done with Lua code. Uh, so um, they all locked it down. Yeah. Right. And now you can't change any of the HUD elements and. Now it's it's very cool to play triple wide, but all the HUD and important things are off to the side. So you have an, yeah, flip you have around. To, yeah, right. sucks. I would every game needs, and I think the best implementation of some sort of multi monitor is Series Sand Three, with the the HUD. Mm -hmm. the you know, you can put it exactly where you want. Like every game needs that. I guess we're going. Well, and then Lord of the Rings Online, you can resize some of those elements, yeah. and you can move them anywhere you want. They all have a bounding box. You grab it and you move it. I don't understand why they should all. Everything should just be grabbable, customizable. Resizable. Ask them if they're listening again. Are you listening? <laughs> hey guys, you're an indie company. You should be able to listen. I love you. I've been around since NSR, since NS Radio, FFT. You represent. But uh, I mean, yeah, every game. Give me some clan signs to throw. I don't remember any of the clan signs. If I had a million res nodes, everyone knows what that is. Want to hear that? Want to see that? 
Um, but yeah, I mean, any sort of implementation, whether it's on anything, it's scalable, movable, would be amazing. Right. Strike Suit Zero had a good kind of thing. It had a toggle where you could turn it on or off. Yeah. If you turned it on, it would it would just put it in. It would do. You would say on for multi monitor, and it would put it in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then if you turned it off, it would go back to being. Stretched. Actually, when I when I did uh, Siri, hey, we're we're going off topic. This is where that podcast would be awesome. Um, with Sirius Sam, I'd actually put my house right here on the other monitor. Oh yeah. Well, and I would do that with Lord of the Rings Online. I would take yeah. like the chat and some of the things yeah. and put them just outside the bezels on the outer monitors. Yeah. And I would keep my mini map right here. Yeah. And then the stuff that would be here, like the quest stuff, I would move just off. When I used to play World of Warcraft Triple Mon, I'd put the trade chat, which if you play World of Warcraft, you know what trade chat is. It's like the spam chat where everyone just trolls. <laughs> I, you, I put that right outside here because it was like it was kind of rarely important, but most of the time not important at all. But you still needed it if you wanted to trade. I just put, used to put the trade chat over here, and then I'd just leave the normal UIs in the middle. So is this what the game looks like the whole time you're the alien teeth? Yeah, um, it's pretty cool. It, well, it's it's dependent upon what alien class you are. I'm trying uh -huh. to remember. Was it cheats one or what's? I thought it was SV underscore cheats one. one. Uh, cheats one. Did you read that? Not F. Reading glasses. Uh, yeah, do you need bifocals? Maybe not. That that's what should come with every 4K monitor. When you start the server, you have you oh, can enable, I have to enable cheats. cheats. Okay, yeah, from well, the beginning. So we'll do that real quick. I'll show you all the. So I, I think you missed that one. This game is so much fun. Sure, I don't know. This game should be bifocal. Should come with every four K monitor. Usually bifocal sport, yeah. and it's so underground. It's an indie underground indie game, and it's it it's has a, so much potential. It's a great game. I love the game, but do you? I mean, do you not agree? It has like ridiculous mm -hmm. amount of potential. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, no. Honestly. Never mind. I guess not. All right. Anyway. Well, that's that's it's NS2. Still, still rolling. Yeah. All right. Well, so I think we're it. pretty much seeing everything we need to see with that's this game. Good. I mean, we did UI stuff, shooter, FPS stuff, and then.